I saved uh, the last three guys. <laughs> uh, he's our pen writer, so it's his job to really dig deep and know what the cast is capable of, who they are, where they're going, and what they're going to be. So this actually kind of scares me. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mikey Cullen. All right, guys, we got some facts for all of you. Facts about our cast and crew. Let me just uh, get out this web sheet that I downloaded from the web. Uh, you saw him, Ryan, Ryan Ball. Everyone give it up for him. He did a great job. fact about Brian, he uh, spelled his name with a Y. That's right. Uh, the only time I've actually thought of Brian when, when I, I was trying to write that fact, but I got distracted by a much more interesting piece of felt. <laughs> it was like an off green color, so I was like, whoa. Uh, as you can see, he's right out here. Brian Ball likes to wear a lot of uh, tight t-shirts. Although I think there's a reason he shouldn't wear them. In fact, there's a pair of reasons she probably <laughs> That's a, I don't want to criticize body type, but I'll just say uh, every time I look at him, I feel like I'm looking at the floor of a moon bounce. <laughs> <laughs> One of these other facts I have. Yeah, I once saw Brian with his shirt off, but it looked kind of like Olmec, the statue from uh, Legend of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> Crazy. I was like, whoa, tell me some more facts about Christopher Thomas. <laughs> These are less facts and more just mean things. So let's keep it going. All right. So, uh, where's Dewey? Is she over there? Oh, yeah, okay. Awesome. Dewey's here, everybody. Uh, Dewey has the, the body of a model and the face of a model's friend. <laughs> Kevin recently moved to, into a new apartment. This is an actual fact. He got a new home, which is great. Uh, if you're wondering, it's in uh, a neighborhood named Candyland. In other news, all of Kevin's neighbors are missing, and he was just diagnosed with super diabetes. I don't know if there is a connection. I'm blind to logical, obvious connections, so I don't know. Uh, there are no facts about Latvia because that would imply there is something interesting about them. Michael Baldi, you saw him out here. He uh, won Best Friend of uh, Jim Lachey's. Big uh, Michael Baldi, one thing I've noticed, he is uh, frighteningly pale. He would get easily lost in a snowstorm. Uh, not because he's so white, but because no one would bother looking for him. <laughs> Get to the facts, guys. Just gotta keep going here. Uh, Nate Clark, kind of an odd fellow. Is he over there? There he is. Give away, Nate Clark. All right. Uh, he wears constantly wears a cod piece made of a doll's head. <laughs> and when asked why, he only stated because it's 2012. <laughs> and then started to rub it all over the furniture in the library, which is where we were for some reason. <laughs> Uh, like I said, very odd fellow Nate Clark, just to give you a point of reference. Uh, for Nate Clark, the phrase breaking and entering refers to how to make love to a woman. <laughs> uh, oh. Austin, he was out here earlier playing Dr. Science, did a great job, did a great stand-up. Uh, he has great deadpan delivery, which goes great with the deadpan laughter. <laughs> Last we got Jim uh, Jim Chase over here, our host, uh, our leader. Sure, tell yourself that, Jim. Tell yourself that. Uh, basically, uh, Jim's a very important fellow in, in the in the Rochester scene. He's made a, a great mark in Rochester comedy, a skid mark to be more specific. <laughs> uh, lastly, I'll say uh, I once referred to Jim online as a train wreck. Uh, I later received a letter of complaint from the Association of Train Wrecks. <laughs> Did that to them, I'm sorry. Alright, that's all I have. Thank you very much.